You know, the indictment makes me very sad and concerned as a country, because it's not just Republicans who view this as political. You have former Governor Cuomo, you have New York Times. People see it, because think about this. The indictment came not from an attorney general of a state, not even from a DA of New York City, it's a borough who actually campaigned on the idea of indicting. My fear is what's gonna transpire here is that here we are as America, one of our greatest strengths is the rule of law being applied equally. What's gonna deter some small DA in a small county in a red state to go after a Democrat president? That was House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, once again casting doubt on the legitimacy of our courts. And McCarthy says his complaints aren't about Trump. He's worried that Democrats want to politicize prosecution. That's Pretty rich coming from a guy who clapped right along with the lock her up crowd. I don't want our country to continue to spiral to play politics this way. I think that we should respect the law. I don't think any legal mind sits and thinks this has merit of where it's going. I think it's played where here's somebody's running for president and a former president. McCarthy wants you to believe that the New York grand jury is simply dragging Donald Trump because he's running for president. Except that the grand jury was impaneled before Trump announced his campaign. And the charges are for misconduct Trump engaged in before announcing his reelection. What's scaring McCarthy is the simple reality that Trump's prosecution is poisoned to the GOP. And McCarthy can't even distance his party from this whole mess, not when the Republican Party's unchallenged leader is now sitting behind the defendant's table in criminal court. I think it's spiraling the country in a place we don't want to be. Let's start respecting each other, let's respect the rule of law, and let's not play politics with it. You're the leader of the party. Mm -hmm. Do you worry he is the Republican frontrunner? He likely will be the nominee right now. Do you worry that he could lose the general election because okay. of this indictment and the other investigations that are potentially I mean, more serious? I think if someone wants to play with indictments, I think it helps them to campaign better. There it is, folks. The exact moment the Republican Party sold the very last bit of its soul. Because you heard that right. Kevin McCarthy thinks the best way for Americans to respect the rule of law is to just put this all behind us and maybe just forget those 34 felony financial crimes. McCarthy isn't alone in trying to cope with Trump's arrest by claiming that actually all the cool kids can't wait to get indicted. Pillow Baron Mike Lindell also took to the airwaves to say that even more people than ever are cheering for Donald Trump. It was amazing there last night, in the, and uh, his uh, his speech was great. It was what it was. Uh, uh, all the attacks, you know, everything they've done now, I think it just solidifies the 2024 election. It, it, it unified it unified the people. I talked to people that are on the left, uh, friends of mine that are Democrats and liberals, and. They said the same thing, what a sham. Now, I never thought I'd say this, but Mike Lindell has a point. Trump's indictment has actually unified the country, just not the way Mike Lindell will want. A recent CNN poll found that 62% of Americans support Trump's indictment. That's a super majority, folks. Donald Trump has made clear that any Republican who wants a future in the party is now expected to defend him. And defend him they did, with some of the MAGA movement's dimmest bulbs flocking to Mar-a-Lago to drink deep from Trump's bottomless fountain of Kool-Aid. And guess who just couldn't avoid the lure of the cameras? None other than vice presidential hopeful and famous Arizona loser, Carrie Lake. Voices right now start speaking out telling people you stand with President Trump. Wear your MAGA hat. I wore a Trump 2024 hat in the airport last right. night. Oh yeah, well how was that? It was great. <laughs> Everyone was giving me the thumbs up. Yeah, we're with Trump. Yep, nothing to see here. MAGA is strong as ever. Though for the first time, you may note a hint of desperation in how aggressively Carrie Lake is selling her positivity. The GOP is in trouble and everybody knows it, even if saying that out loud is now against the rules. Like McCarthy said, things really are spiraling. Most Republicans are trying as hard as possible to avoid any comment about Trump's case for the very good reason that the more voters hear about it, the less they like like Republicans. I don't want our country to continue to spiral to play politics this way. But Donald Trump only wants to talk about his case, putting Republicans in an impossible situation. Whatever McCarthy might have hoped, his time as Speaker will absolutely be defined by the looming shadow of his out-of-control boss. Republicans have made clear they'll be spending the next two years bailing Trump out of legal problems he created. And this is just one case. Republicans are frantically trying to bucket water out of their capsizing ship. They only have themselves to blame. If you want to see more Republican antics, check out this video.
or click on over to my playlist. Thanks so much for watching. Please leave a like and consider subscribing. And as always, leave a comment below so you can let me know what I should cover next.